With spring break in the air, I thought we would head up the road to old Traumaville, where the kids are wildly inappropriate whether it's the 80s or surely now. With one character named Gonzo, I can't even show his face or possibly get hit with a strike here, where the soundtrack is as catchy as those wild hairdos. And when this guy shows up in any trauma movie, you know whatever he's in charge of is gonna always go up in smoke. There's no danger, Governor. You have the situation well in hand. Radioactive water's leaking from sub-level three. It could contaminate the whole town. That's not so bad. I'm talking about Class of Nukem High from 1986. Following in the heels of Toxic Avengers' nuclear success, this over-the-top, trashy, ridiculous romp follows a group of varied high school students as they navigate not only through their daily lives, while also taking up some laced Mary Jane that has a distinct flavor of toxic waste. Turning normal honor roll students. You were the honor society, not a drug pushing gang of thugs. Kiss my ass, you old fart. Into these outlandish cats, the Cretans. Your typical 80s gang turned to 13 on the crazy scale, who peddle the funky green to students. When one of Warren's pals scores a J-bone called an atomic high. No! You know you're in for a monster treat. While raging out at your typical 80s high school party, Warren and his gal Chrissy forcibly partake in a puff of the magic green, leading to cherries popping on both fronts, <laughs> then Warren bulking up like the Hulk, while Chrissy has a toxic spawn growing inside her, only to regurgitate it back into the wilds of the high school sewer system. Eventually, her birth critter drops into an open vat of toxic waste that is located not only in the basement of said high school, but in their fallout shelter. God, I love how ridiculous trauma movies are. I mean, just look at the masks of the nuclear power plant technicians. Anything from your typical particle mask to a full suit. Nothing matches or makes sense. It's great. This scene alone has a hundred violations. Once the nuclear power plant springs a leak, it infiltrates nearby trauma high, causing aforementioned oddities to take place. Until Warren and Head Stooge Spike square off. Spike's tick that Warren offed a couple of his goons while in Hulk mode. Warren doesn't seem to remember, and neither did the writers. <laughs> what do you want from me? I don't want anything from you, Warren. <laughs> Chrissy's got what I want. Class of Newcomb High is a bonafide low-budget mess, and I love it. I thought Warren and Chrissy were a hoot to watch. Their expressions alone are so over-the-top and fun, you just dig these two. Well, let somebody else do it. I don't want you getting hurt. Spike and his crew are bonkers, as you would expect, and are having a blast along the way. Hope I'm not late. So, if you're easily offended, stay clear of this one. But if you enjoy trashy, exploitative, gory trauma fun, then head back to high school one more time, because class is back in session. You might just have to fight a toxic slug monster to stay alive. Until next time. This is going on your permanent record. So click links below to be notified. Many thanks for the support and hail Cthulhu.